Okay. Ah. Let's turn the lights on. It's like Japanese style deep bath. We have me, some towels, all your toiletries. Whoa, two single bed. Oh my god, it's a loft! No way! Okay, that's our humidifier they gave us. Let's see the view. Oh, stop. That is amazing. Let's go upstairs. We're sleeping separate tonight. Let's go up. Chatta samoy. So cool. You could have like three people stay up here. What? Yes, there are. This thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want to live here. This is amazing. It smells like fresh wood, too. I love it here. This is called Hakone Yama Terrace. It is like, what, 100, 200 meters away from the museum and that playground. And this place is amazing. It's about three and a half years old and it is so beautiful. It's just so open plan. Just, oh, I love it so much. It smells like wood and, oh, it's so beautiful. The architecture is just so amazing. This place is so cool. lots of space for everybody to sit and the oyster that we had as a starter was amazing I was like really hesitant but oh my goodness it was so good we have some sashimi now and we're gonna dig into that so itadakimasu Storm's got yogurt flavored sake ice cream. How does it taste? Delicious. Don't. You stop. <laughs> it's really good. It just tastes like ice cream. Um, yogurt, yogurt flavored ice cream. Is that possible? Can you have dairy flavored dairy? I don't taste the sake at all. It's not sake at all. But it's really nice. <laughs> So they just kind of like pour it over the top. And it's strong. I tried it again with like a mouthful of the sake. Oh, it's strong. now 
back at the hotel now this gorgeous hotel that I am obsessed with the architecture of and the snow falling outside and the cat by the fire oh my god I am in love with Rikuzen Takata like this place is just so nice and one of the positives that I could find out of all the negatives is that the buildings are all new so the hotel is new the kombinis are new the izakais are new the restaurants are new so all the buildings are really new and nice it's just it's a real sense of community out here and also like I gotta show you it is black outside we have been living in Tokyo for so long we forgot what like darkness okay you can't really tell because the reflection hold on look at that that is just pure black in the mountains. It is amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. I also realized this place would be perfect for a wedding. Can, I don't know if you can see, like, it's all lit outside. There is, like, space outside, which would be perfect for a wedding reception. The indoor area, there's a workshop upstairs. I, just, I think this, like, you could get married at the museum and come and have your reception here. I think that would be awesome. Or a birthday party or anything like that. I think that would be amazing if you guys were looking for a getaway for the weekend or something like that. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please stay tuned tomorrow and the next day for the next few vlogs because I'm going to have so much more of this place to show you guys. And and, and, and I really hope to, to, to get across the heart and soul that this small town has and how they've overcome such devastation. How amazing and just truly beautiful the town is now thank you guys so much for watching please stay tuned and i'll see you next time make sure to check out my instagram i've posted a whole bunch of photos from this trip there and follow me as well thank you guys so much and i'll see you there good night